I'd like to relate a modern day fairy tale. It has all the elements of a wonderful story. Heroes, children, love, even a castle in a magical kingdom. But this fairy tale is rooted in all too real a world where happy endings are hard to come by and happy memories are treasured forever. It begins with a phone call by the Wish Foundation in Massachusetts to a man named Henry Landworth who owns a hotel in Central Florida near Walt Disney World. A six-year-old girl from Fall River who was dying of leukemia wished more than anything to meet Mickey Mouse. If all the necessary arrangements could be completed and she felt well enough five weeks from that day, would Henry make her wish come true? Well, the answer, of course, was yes. But five weeks was a little too long to wait, and that little girl passed away. Henry knew that time was the greatest enemy of these children, and he vowed to expedite all the planning and paperwork and red tape. Knowing that the last wish of over 70% of those children was to see Mickey Mouse, he immediately established a foundation to work in conjunction with the hundreds of Wish Foundations around the country and the world. And then, with the kind of determination that had helped him survive the Holocaust, Henry organized a network of local attractions, businesses, and volunteers whose sole purpose was to give kids the world, overnight, if necessary. Now, Wish Foundations everywhere can make a phone call to give kids the world, and within 24 hours, can provide a Wish family with a wonderful visit and some unforgettable memories. Give Kids the World, how do we begin to thank you? We received the keepsake photo album you sent and have not put it down. We talk about the trip over and over again. It's become a reminder of our most treasured times together while Robin was still with us. The memories of those wonderful days we spent as a family have helped us forget much of the pain and trauma we've all been through. Thank you for this precious and wonderful gift. Our love and deepest appreciation goes to all of the very special people that made our trip possible. May God bless you all. Multiply Robin's story by thousands since 1986, and that's how many wishes give kids the world has helped come true. So far, they've never said no, even though the number of requests seems to double every year. But there are thousands of terminally ill children still making wishes every day. In order to make their wishes come true, Henry made a very special wish of his own in 1987. For Give Kids the World to go on and service all this, the foundation around the country and the thousands of families that are coming down here, uh, this foundation has to have a village that we can accommodate these unfortunate ones. Undaunted by the projected three and a half million dollar price tag, Henry set out to round up financial support for the village, and he didn't have to look terribly far. Over 160,000 employees of Holiday Inns worldwide pledged a million dollars to get the project underway. Holiday Inns Incorporated advanced the money so the construction could begin immediately. With help from tireless volunteers and countless businesses and services, the villas were furnished and decorated, the playground was built, Magical topiaries sprang up almost overnight, but not a minute too soon for Henry Landworth or some of the children who benefit from Give Kids the World. And not a moment too soon for the families of these children as well. A special child creates a special family, one which must function while facing the most difficult problem a family can endure. A Holiday Inn Kids Village experience includes everyone in the family, mom, dad, all the brothers and sisters get to spend these few happy moments together. And we care about these families. 
along with on-call medical care provided at the village for the special children, counseling care and support groups are provided for the other family members. We want the visit to the village to be a time of magic and wonder for the wish child. And for the families, the memories of a life and a lifetime. What is life? After everything is over, it's some memories. That's all you have. So we give them the memories, the joyful few days together. A lot of people do a lot of other ways to thank God for a lot of things here. Maybe this is my way of saying thank you for this wonderful life I have. Henry's life hasn't always been wonderful, like these very special children and their families. He knows how precious memories can be. A child prisoner of five concentration camps, he and his twin sister Margot lost both parents at age 13. Somehow, Henry made his way to America in 1950. Since then, his tremendous energy and intelligence have earned him the enduring respect and friendship of those of us who were fortunate enough to get to know him during those pioneering days of space exploration at the Cape. By now, you know that Henry Landworth does not dream small dreams. This village, Henry's Dream, built just for these special kids is truly a magical place. From the pool, to the lake stocked with fish, to the big red caboose filled with video games. Every corner of the Holiday Inn Kids Village is built for the enjoyment and fun of children. And we at Holiday Inn are very proud of the Kids Village. This special place where families can spend a few magical days together is our gift. No family has ever been turned away from the village, and we are committed to making sure that Henry will never have to tell a family that there's no room. But to keep our promise, we need some more magic, and we need you. The present Holiday Inn Kids Village must expand. That means more land, more construction, more upkeep, and more help from us at Holiday Inn Worldwide. I hope they will all participate. What we're looking is that any person that works for Holiday Inn uh, will have the opportunity to help, even if it's just a dollar. And if you take this whole army out there that works for Holiday Inn of 160 employees of 160,000 employees of Holiday Inns, you can see what kind of impact that will make on helping. And I hope this will take place, because it is the Holiday Inn Kids Village, and I hope it will continue forever to be here, to service these families, and to uh, carry on with the Holiday Inn spirit. Now I'll admit that I'm sometimes skeptical of them, but watching this humble man who's been honored as one of the 12 most caring people in America as he strives to make wishes come true for children with only a few tomorrows out of them. Seeing the most recent miracle come to pass, a gingerbread house right out of a fairy tale. And looking into all the radiant faces one finds at this village has convinced even me. Miracles can happen, and with lots of help from people like you, they will happen every day when you give kids the world.